So, um, it's been a minute. I have to be honest. Uh, I haven't really wanted to do a update on this because a lot of people really weren't reading it or even watching the videos. So, I really just fell off uh, of doing all this. But, you know, I felt like uh, now is a good time to uh, get back on the wagon and give everybody a little bit of an update. Uh, so, uh, something new has emerged, uh, the coronavirus. It's quite a big deal. It's um, really taking people by surprise. It went from China to Europe to Africa to now even America, even Texas, even Collin County, the county that I live in. It's been quite a year so far. It's March 16th and hundreds of of races have been canceled, postponed, uh, including marathons, ultra marathons, two oceans in South Africa was canceled. Locally, uh, Ironman Texas, Ironman Oceanside, Ironman 70.3 Texas, Puerto Rico was canceled or postponed. Um, Campeche 70.3 still went off without a hitch for whatever reason this past weekend on the 15th. Um, but lots of marathons are um, being canceled. Um, since we, uh, since I touched base last time, uh, I've done a marathon. I've uh, done the half marathon in December in Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, I also did a marathon in January, January 20th. And I qualified for Comrades, so I'm in. Um, I also donated some money to World Vision, so I'll be in batch C, which is good. Um, I've also got a <clears throat> um, uh, some definite injuries that I'm still working through. <sighs> um, after the marathon in January, it was quite difficult for me to even lift my right leg off of the couch. Um, just lifting it straight up was painful. Uh, since then, I've recovered a little bit. I can walk around without uh, hurting it. I can walk around without being in excruciating pain, but it's still there. Uh, running hurts, um, but um, running doesn't bother it more if that makes sense. Um, running doesn't really do anything. Uh, since the marathon in January, uh, me and my coach, Lindsey Perry, uh, which I am the utmost grateful for, we made the plan of literally just going through it and, okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we bite a lot, as much as my undercarriage would allow, and we moved forward. Uh, pretty easy there. Uh, We've been biking quite a bit. I'm about to get on the bike here in just a minute for today's workout, which is a 90 minute spin. Uh, <clears throat> but kind of looking back on it, you know, of about 30 miles a week running, uh, about an hour and a half, two hours biking a week right now. Um, so, oh, actually about three hours of biking almost. Um, but yeah, it's going pretty good. Uh, overall, going to Comrades, we are... Uh, about 90 days away, I feel pretty good, um, to be honest. I've been working with a nutritionist now, uh, Dr. Anna Sewell. Uh, she will be changing her last name soon. Uh, she's going to be getting married, which is awesome. Uh, but I talk with her uh, once a week, and since we've been working together, I've lost 25 pounds. Um, <clears throat> it's It's been very successful. Um, I've noticed a lot of different things and I've reframed how I look at nutrition and how I look at what I eat. Um, I currently weigh 185.3. It's, it, it's amazing. Like I'm down almost 25 pounds since December. Uh, I'm looking at hopefully being 165, 170 for comrades. Um, even if comrades doesn't happen, which that's a big unknown right now, I still plan on going and maintaining the current trajectory and becoming the lightest, fastest runner I can possibly be. That's my goal. 
Uh, that's going to put me in a really good shape for the Marine Corps Marathon 50K, which is later this year in October. And it's it's been a really good journey so far. Um, I'm really happy with where I am physically uh, right now. Uh, mentally, there's a, there is a lot of people that are discouraged. There's a lot of people that are um, kind of upset with their current situation in regards to my race was canceled, my race was postponed. Um, I'm thankful that I qualified for Comrades in January uh, because now looking at it, it's like, wow, all these races are being canceled within the qualifying period. If you don't qualify, you still get to race. Um, it's pretty strict there. So um, I'm glad I'm in. Uh, so that's that's really good. Um, so far, the Boston Marathon has been postponed till September. London, Paris, uh, Berlin went off, but it was just the elites. Um, it, sorry, not Berlin, uh, Tokyo. Tokyo went off with just the elites. It's... It's been a big change in the endurance community as well as the sports community. Uh, the Major League Baseball uh, is is basically canceled um, or canceling or postponing their season, which is going to make an interesting time of year for all of the um, games as well as the NBA and the NF or National Hockey League in the NHL. And then as well as the MLS, um, there's many people that are impacted by this. The stock market is really down right now. Um, people are really, really just discouraged with what's going on in the environment. So it's it's quite the, the trajectory. Um, but overall right now, my mentality personally, I feel, I feel very confident that I'll get through this with a high motivation, regardless of what happens to comrades. Um, that's where I'm at right now. Um, we do have flights booked, but we can reschedule them with no penalties right now. So that's good. Even three days prior. So we're good there. Um, the biggest thing right now is if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it doesn't happen this year, okay. We take a deep breath and we move forward. Um, if it is canceled this year, um, okay, we all of a sudden are gonna be stronger, fitter, and more intelligent next year. Um, that, that's it. Um, not really gonna even worry too much about it. Uh, I would hope that the registration would just defer to the following year. Uh, that's what I would hope. If it doesn't, I would just re-register. Uh, it's it is what it is. Um, it's a bucket list race. I'm not going to give up on my dream. So it's going to happen no matter what. It's just a matter of when. Um, I don't feel I don't feel like, and I don't think many people are having that approach, and it shows. Um, there's quite a few people that don't really know what the approach they should have is and they don't have the gratitude and it shows but I'm really thankful that as a coach I'm working with some really amazing people that approach things with humility approach things with gratitude and approach things with understanding of the bigger situation at hand so it's really amazing to me to actually see how some of these athletes that I work with are dealing with it. Um, so I'm just looking at training peaks over here right now. Um, just gonna pull up uh, kind of like my year to date running. Um, so this year so far, I've completed 159 miles. Not that big, I understand that. Here we are mid-March and I don't even have, I haven't even broken 200 miles yet, but what I can say is that I've biked for almost 28 hours and I've ran for almost 48 hours. Or sorry, scratch that. I've ran for almost 30 hours 
and I would bite for almost 27 hours, or a little more than 27 hours. And going off of this weekend's run, I was able to run over an hour with an average heart rate of 138. I haven't done that ever. Like, the training is there. My body is becoming more prepared. So it, it's really paying off. So that's all good signs of the work being done. Um, so I plan on doing another one of these every Monday. Every Monday morning, that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, unless I get sidetracked or what have you, you know. Um, but that's the plan right now. Um, thanks for watching if you watched and paid attention. If you did watch all of this, comment below. I'm interested to hear your take on things and hear what's going on in your life. And if you want to chat, hey, my number's on the website. Give me a text. But hope you have a great day and I will talk with everybody next week.